Hi Aries and welcome to your next 48 tarot reading. This is your Witchy Wednesday. I hope all of you are fantastic. Thank you for stopping in. Okay, so let's see what's coming up here for you. Aries. And this could be Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Or North Node in Aries. We do have the North Node in Aries right now. Okay, Spirit, please show us the messages for Aries. Wednesday to Friday. The truth. Okay, getting clarity, mental clarity, new information. The Ace of Swords, main energy. So you're going to see something very clearly. Underlying energy is a two of water. A connection to someone, an understanding. Feelings are mutual, returned. Three of Cups is in the challenge. Social situations, friends, people who feel the same way, celebrations, parties, get-togethers, but for some reason there's a challenge. Okay, what's coming in? Queen of Wands, you're very confident in yourself, you have energy, you're ready to commit to something. There could also be another fire sign around you. Okay, so Queen of the Wands. So you feel like you have a certain amount of power. You're not necessarily wanting to be a masculine. You're wanting to be sort of a feminine fire, but confident as well. Wow, there is a new beginning coming in here, an Ace of the Pentacles. A gift, an opportunity, something that's real and meaningful. So this is something that will lead to success, permanent growth. Okay. There's new fire. There could be something exciting, inspiring. There could have been something triggering too about other people. But let's see what's coming in. Four of Swords. Not talking, not communicating, needing to rest needing to, you know, um, maybe heal or rest or take some time off. What is your energy here, Aries? Just spirit, show us Aries. Page of Pentacles. You're willing to learn something new. You're willing to take a chance. Now, there could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo influencing your energy. What is Aries energy? Okay. We got a queen of water around you. There could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. You're the page of coin. There could be something you're giving um, in exchange. You want a two of cups. You want harmony and a soulmate, a bond. You could be giving something of value to someone. Queen of Water can be also a mother energy or a mother figure. There's a Seven of Pentacles. You want something here to grow. You want something to improve. And, you know, um, there could be something where you're looking at an investment. Okay. Six of Coin. Balance is coming in. There could be something where you didn't have enough and now you do. There is financial balance. It could be something that you deserve or you worked for. Okay, hermit card. Something could be exposed. The hermit represents wisdom, major arcana, for a very wise individual. Someone with experience, spiritual knowledge. They're shining the lamp onto something. You're coming in as new, which is kind of funny. You're coming in as a page of the coin. What is the page of the coin here for Aries energy? King of the coin. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person could be influencing your energy. It could be your energy too. You could be getting good news about money through this page. 
Okay, so you may, might be getting a message regarding financial wealth or investments. Why is there a Four of Swords coming in? Why is there a Four of Swords? Ooh, Five of Swords. Somebody could be blaming you or pointing a finger. There's someone here who's causing conflict. Maybe you don't want to talk to this person. It could be that you're blaming them even, although you're in a very, there's a very grounded earth energy here. You're being very practical, very realistic. You're making investments. You are slow to take action. Why is somebody blaming the Aries or pointing a finger here? Nine of Swords. Somebody's paranoid, fearful, worried, losing sleep at night. What is this Five of Swords about? A Five of Cups. Feeling a sense of loss, feeling sadness. What is the, the Queen of Water here around Aries? There's a celebration or fun connected to this Queen of Water. Somebody's having a wish coming true. What is the Six of Coin? The Six of Wands. Okay, so you, this ends up as a victory for you. It ends up as a win where you get what you want or need. So you have this energy or this outcome of winning something that you deserve, need, want. You're getting this. But you really want a two of water. You really want a compassionate, mutual understanding or feeling and someone here is four of swords they cut off communication however there's a person around you having a good time this could be somebody who is going out to parties and having fun and maybe you feel like you're not included with this right here um feels like a side issue but it is affecting the current energy what is the, okay, lovers, what is the nine of cups here for Aries? Why is there a nine of cups around? You're the king of the coin. So that's King Midas. Everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you are invested in is, you know, turning to gold. But um, what is this queen of water? This person is more invested in emotions, ten of cups, feelings family they're having a good time who or what is this queen of water okay the wheel of fortune turns something changes why are you king of coin here messaging a lot of messaging all at once don't forget you are having this victory through this coin coming in what is this ace of coin wow okay seven of swords You don't want someone to know this. Somebody doesn't want someone to know that or they're trying to maneuver, they have a strategy to go around. Hmm. Okay. I don't feel like it really matters that much. You want growth in a situation. There is a water sign energy here who is celebrating good times. Um, who is this queen of water with the nine of cups and ten of cups? The empress, the goddess of love, abundance, the three of coin, teams, groups. What is the king of earth here? Five of Wands, Nine of Swords. Somebody's in a very competitive energy with you. It looks like they're competing. What is the King of Coin? Page of Swords. Somebody's watching, observing. What is the King of Coin for Aries? Hermit. Wisdom, shining the light on something, Virgo energy. Okay. So you're the wise sage. What's the outcome here with the victory and the six of coin? 
Oh my god, a tower. And a four of swords. There's some kind of issue here. It seems like a side story where someone is going through some kind of shock or surprise. What's the outcome here for you, Aries? What is the outcome for Aries? The six of coin, the same card. So you're getting the benefit, you're getting the win, you're getting what you want or need. And it is real and it does create balance in your life. Why is there a shock with the tower? King of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, masculine energy. What is the seven of swords? What is somebody trying to hide? The chariot coming forward, six of air, moving on. Well, let's see. What is the seven of swords? Somebody doesn't want a confrontation. What do we have here? Queen of Water again. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Nine of Coin, Independent. Okay, somebody is got a strategy to go around. And what is this Six of Coin here for Aries? Oh my gosh, the Six of Wands. So again, it's like we have the same card literally well you can't really see it but it is the same the two same cards so you're coming into a victory you're coming into a win you're coming into oh you could be given something that is advertised like somebody is advertising devil okay what is this queen of wands as the root Two of Swords. Somebody doesn't know. You don't know. Eight of Cups. Walking away. Wanting to create space or distance. Queen of Swords. Somebody's very bitter. Maybe very honest too. Who's shining the lamp on something here? For Aries. Hang man, something stuck. Let's see. What's this hermit shining the lamp? The strength and magician. There's something about somebody is trying to fix, coordinate, maneuver, create change. All right. Let's see what's coming up for you. So you're having some kind of win. And you're getting attention. You're being seen. Things are going well for you. But there's a gift coming in for you that either someone else doesn't want you to know or you don't want someone to know. You are getting a benefit. So what do we have here for Aries? A family room. This could be inheritance. And if you don't want someone to know, we do have a family room and great fortune. Um, so there's something here about a great fortune. Um, it is private with the family room. That's something private. Toil and labor. Somebody's working really hard. What else are we getting here? Aries. A coffin. Okay, so there's something here about a change or an ending. Okay. The main male, despair. Okay, what's going on with this ending here for Aries? Mature man. Okay. Bad health. Distant horizons. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we do have unexpected income. So that could be part of this. Okay, so let's take one from the Energy Oracle and see what we get here for you, Aries, for the next couple of days. Anxiety. Okay. The Magician. 
the door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, so there is something that is going to change in your scenario. Needing rest and rejuvenation. Indecision. Yin Yang, finding balance. And the healer of the ages. Okay, we do have the broken heart. But we do have the energy of Jesus, the healer of the ages is here. It's also the master magician in this deck. So something is being fixed supernaturally. There is something here about a healing. Um, all right. Well, Aries, I'm going to leave it here for you. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.